Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Developing and emerging economies are the focus of the Financial Stability Board's ongoing efforts to assess the risks associated with stable coins. Stable currencies seem to be the center of attention right now. Additionally, last week in Toronto, the Global Financial Stability Board Board deliberated on topics that require additional focus. Here we are at this same moment. All right, the Financial Stability Board, which I did touch on briefly in the video this morning. I'll put a link to that video in the upper right corner of this page. I think these videos would complement each other nicely. Earlier today, as I was conducting research, it occurred to me that there might be some links between the topics we covered earlier today. And it is the subject of my presentation today. Now you have it, everyone. The concerns raised by stable coins in developing and emerging nations will be further investigated by the Financial Stability Board, an organization that keeps an eye on the world's financial system for signs of systemic risk. At its plenary meeting in Toronto, the FSB, the only institution with the authority to make decisions about the establishment of standards, made the decision. A stable coin is defined as a cryptocurrency whose value is linked to another asset like the dollar or gold, as stated in a statement on Friday. Last year, the FSB and the International Monetary Fund were among the leading voices in crafting global crypto policy. In a joint policy document, they cautioned against the use of blanket bans as a means to address the sector's vulnerabilities. The members of the FSB met last week to talk about the crypto sector's neglected regions. The Financial Stability Board FSB, has stated that crypto assets present unique difficulties for monetary policy and capital flow management in developing and emerging markets. Members of the FSB have deliberated the difficulties caused by the relatively high adoption rates of crypto assets, as well as the risks associated with global stablecoin arrangements in EMD. The FSB will conduct additional research to investigate potential solutions to these problems. So, people are quietly toiling away to find out how to control this and foster an atmosphere where, you know, maybe we can, while also acknowledging that, okay, this is just a theory, but the effort is obviously ongoing. But hey, when the controlled demolition happens, how can we make sure that people aren't completely screwed if they opt to collapse the system? No sooner have we provided it than we may begin to consider how to mitigate its impact. Additionally, stable coins will undoubtedly be involved in some way. This is something I've been thinking about recently because, well, similar things are happening all across the globe. We in the West are cognizant of the fact that we must rapidly ascertain a solution. They are creating brand new digital platforms, you know. Year 2030, you can view that important date here. The fact that Michael Branch brought this up is just one of many subjective viewpoints, but Vladimir Putin has been talking about Russia's reaction and how incentives are being created for Russian IT and software companies to succeed in this new economy. All right, it appears that stablecoins guy is the main point here. The US could stay up with China if its currency was stable. The former Speaker of the House said this, the timing of the US dollar peg stable coins could not be more appropriate, according to Paul Ryan, since China is still working on its own solution. These coins would help with the government's debt crisis and ensure that the dollar stays competitive with the yuan, which has been showing its strength in international trade. The US is about to experience a financial catastrophe that is both inevitable and preventable, according to this remark. A debt catastrophe sounds inevitable, but it's really quite avoidable. In an editorial post published on June 13 in the Wall Street Journal, Paul Ryan claimed that stable coins pegged to the dollar may help maintain the currency's attractiveness. From 2015 until 2019, Ryan was the 54th Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Among the most influential political roles in the United States, is that of the House Speaker. Another quote, the risk of a failed debt auction would be reduced because demand for US debt would immediately and persistently rise. 
and the accompanying dilemma. Capital Paradigm, a cryptocurrency-focused venture capital firm, has appointed Ryan to its policy council. Now everything is falling into place, isn't it? The $162 billion stablecoin market is already a major buyer of US treasuries, and its importance in maintaining the dollar's dominance is only growing. The fact that even Brian Brooks chimed in on the idea that stable coins can maintain the dollar's status as the world's reserve currency should tell you something. Hence, it is possible to prevent a US debt crisis by supporting the dollar by the creation of more stable coinage linked to the dollar. By the way, I'll be sure to provide a link to the Wall Street Journal opinion piece I mentioned in the video's description, so you can all read it. What makes this change, this constructive disruption, so intriguing is that it says wow, that's spot on, coming from the Wall Street Journal of all places. This is much bigger than people think, especially when the mainstream media starts to catch on like we did a few years ago. For those of you who have been following this space since 2018 or 2019, like me, we were talking about this for a long time, and we were just waiting for the government to realize how important it was. The value of XRP will undoubtedly rise, we predicted this even back then. After everything happened, we had no idea. Once more, this occurred prior to the drink being thrown. Before all that, we had no idea it would take this long, in fact, I think many of us were unaware of just how long it takes for legislation to take effect in the actual world. Well. I must admit that this is my first venture into the realm of government control. Up until now, I simply ignored it and carried on with my life. When you have a vested interest in anything that is subject to regulation, though, you are more likely to pay close attention and conduct thorough investigation. The current situation is that stable coins will undoubtedly be essential here. There it is again claiming that dollar-backed stable coins will help the US government pay down its debt and stay up with China. Thus, I believe that, first and foremost, the United States wants to remain competitive. Providing reliable coinage to a new financial system is the best way to ensure that we are not left behind. This is, once again, only one of the many approaches we will take. Additionally, I would like to mention Ripple stable coin. In other words, there will be no shortage of stable currencies in the future. In my opinion, no single stable coin will dominate the market. Regarding Ripple stable coin, what role will it play? The CEO of Ripples has confirmed that his company is collaborating on CBDCs with 10 different governments across the globe. In essence, a stable coin is what a digital currency issued by a central bank is. Cryptocurrency is a stable cryptocurrency that functions like a central bank. The administration has just issued it. That is essentially the sole distinction. It is a government-issued stable coin. The next question is whether or not you would choose a privately produced stable coin over a government-issued one. After all, we could be coerced into using a government CBDC. Truthfully, I am unsure of how everything will come together. Having the option to use a government CBDC or Ripple's real USD seems like it would be something people would want. Furthermore, if governments worldwide begin to restrict the usage of CBDCs through programming, it is probable that individuals will abandon CBDC in favor of a stable coin. Therefore, I'm still wondering how this would be implemented to deceive the plebeians into trusting them. Perhaps they will take advantage of the impending financial crisis to accomplish this. So, Mr. Man, I should mention this as well. I've been telling you all along that CBDCs are just stable currencies. This is how a stable coin for CBDC ends up in the US. Over time, the no CBDC bill will have no impact. So, this is merely another intriguing angle on the same case. Everything is going to fall into place, and we are now looking at a level playing field with a digital SDR banking as a service, or the internet, Ripple Net API tokenization, anything of value. The XRP and real USD stablecoin 
the BRICS nations interledger, hyperledger, and overledger. The video ends there. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it. Coming up shortly, farewell.